Hi, I'm Tracy from The Cake Craftery. Today I'm going to show you how to make these rice paper jellyfish. You're going to need some Vietnamese spring roll wrappers or rice paper, a dish to soak them in and some food colouring of your choice. You will also need some rice vermicelli. Cut a 10 inch square of plastic from a soft but strong plastic bag. I used about 3 quarters of a cup of sugar to form my jellyfish shape, but you could use salt or polenta or any other fine grained kitchen product. Pour the sugar into the centre of your square of plastic. Wrap the plastic around the sugar to form a ball and secure with a rubber band. Pour about a centimetre of water into your dish and colour with food colouring of your choice. The more food colouring you add, the more deeply coloured your jellyfish will be. Pop one round of rice paper into this coloured water, make sure it's fully submerged and leave for about 40 to 50 seconds. The time will depend on how cold or warm your water is. You want your rice paper to be soft and flexible but not totally soggy. If you soak it for too long it will start to fall apart. Carefully lift the rice paper out of its dye bath and place on a plate. Remove the excess liquid by gently pressing a kitchen towel down onto the rice paper. Now grab the ball of sugar you made and place that in the centre of the circle. Cover the ball of sugar with the rice paper as shown, bringing it up bit by bit. The damp rice paper adheres easily to the plastic. Tie a piece of string around the rubber band and hang your jellyfish somewhere to dry, preferably overnight. It does take some time and you don't want to hurry it up with a hairdryer because you could crack the rice paper. Now break another sheet of rice paper into rough strips. Soak these as before and leave on a plate to dry. While you're waiting for your jellyfish bodies to dry, start making your tentacles. Use the rice vermicelli for this. Break off a small bunch and soak in the same water that you soaked your rice paper in. Or you might decide to do these a different colour, it's totally up to you. These take longer than the wrappers to soften. About 5 to 10 minutes, but you can speed up the process by warming your water. When the noodles have softened, lift them out in sections and place on a plate. This vermicelli is quite long, so I folded it in half to the size I want my tentacles to be. Here I'm positioning them the way I want them to dry. Dry for several hours or overnight. You'll need a length of wire to support your jellyfish. In this case I've used 20 gauge floral wire. I'm bending it so that it blends in with the tentacles. I chose to cover my wire with a strip of wafer paper. I added some teal petal dust to a small amount of vodka and then painted it liberally onto both sides of the wafer paper. The wet wafer paper can be formed around the wire and will stick to itself and the wire. Leave each end of the wire uncovered, about 2 or 3 centimetres or 1 inch. Leave this to dry or dry it off with a hairdryer. 
After several hours or overnight, the rice paper strips that you prepared earlier should be dry. Once the jellyfish body is dry and hard, you can remove the plastic and its contents. The rice paper is pretty strong now, but it can crack if you're not careful with it. And there you have the main body of your jellyfish. Take a bunch of your vermicelli and check if it will fit in the opening of the jellyfish body. You can stick the tentacles into the body using coloured royal icing or piping gel or even a small piece of fondant. But I have chosen to do this with some isomol because it dries very quickly and you don't need to support the tentacles in place while it's drying. You should pop your covered wire in at this stage too while the isomol is still warm. I added mine later because I'd forgotten. Now you can leave it there or you can add two or three of your rice paper strips for added interest. Once again using some melted isomalt. Now you have a lovely translucent jellyfish. Another optional step here is to gild the edges with some gold luster dust mixed with a little vodka. Or Everclear or Rose Spirit, whatever you have. If you're going to be inserting the bottom end of your wire into a cake, make sure to coat it in safety seal first or otherwise insert a straw into your cake and the wire into the straw. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please click the like button and be sure to subscribe below for more new tutorials coming up soon.